Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Daz. I'm Office Bloke Aiden. Okay, we've done the uh, yesterday the best. We're going to gradually go through a lot of sports on this channel. Um, yesterday we did the uh, was it the biggest attendances, biggest stadiums, biggest stadiums in the USA college. Well, it was the biggest just in general, wasn't it? It was all college. Wasn't college, it? it was college. So based on that, we're going to do the best atmospheres in college football. Now, as many of you know, uh, we said it before. Aiden and I are big sports fans. Uh, we do go to the games for English Premier League. And one of the best things we like is the atmospheres, isn't it? Yeah. We do get involved. Yeah. Where we sit is right next to the travelling away fans at home. Um, and we do go to the away games as well. Uh, so the atmosphere is probably one of the best parts for me about a game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You know, the banter. Yeah, I, that's why I prefer going to away games. It's always like better yeah. atmosphere than away games. So. Yeah, the banter we have, the singing, everything that goes with it. So here we're going to experience some of the best atmospheres in college football. And this will give you an idea as well of when we were talking yesterday about the biggest stadiums. Yeah. How full they, but it wasn't full yesterday, they were all empty, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. I so this will show them full. Yeah, yeah. So let's go for it, That's eh? That's what I so, wanted to see. Yeah. So here we have it, the best atmospheres in college football. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it stacks up. Mondays. I think that's it, yeah. Have you not seen the bands yet? At the, uh, the band? Have you not seen the marching bands at the games? Oh, oh we'll have to touch on that as well. Also, the only thing that absolutely does my head in English football is that guy with the drums. That's and I, that'll probably annoy me. No, it's different. <laughs> this is different. The band is the marching band that do like all pre-game, okay. half-time and all that. Yeah, not, right, yeah. I don't think they're banging the drums during the game. Oh, that would annoy right. me. Be because I know that we don't like that in, uh, right. in, our, in our football. We don't yeah. like it, the drum. Well, some, some teams have it. Um, it wouldn't really go down well at City. Yeah, you saw it at Arsenal yesterday. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get away with it. His drum. You wouldn't get away with it at City. I no, think you'd be wearing the drum. I think someone would put it over the top of your head and push it down, wouldn't they? And you'd be like stuck in the drum like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. I think the closest we've ever come to that is the Poznan. Yeah, probably. And it's like uh, the Poznan, if people don't know, it was, it was originally done by Lech Poznan in, in Poland. Poland yeah. So what it was is everyone turns with the back to the field and they links around and everyone bounces up and down, but everyone's facing away from the field. Which is pretty cool. It looks good. it looks good from a distance. It's a bit of a tradition. It's a city, tradition yeah. of city now, yeah, yeah. But there you go. That was pretty good. That. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine the, the imagine the grounds moving with that oh, kind of bouncing. Like, imagine it's all like you know. Yeah, when you're like trying to when the cameraman's like you, when you're after like someone scores and the camera like shaking yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. it's probably like that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good that though. Impressed with that. <laughs> Noise there. Remember me talking about the whiteout yesterday on the biggest stadiums. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. one that does a whiteout. Penn, Penn State. State that does the whiteout. Apparently, there's a few color, few people that do the color sort of things, color schemes. But what happens there in American football is the noise is that loud. They can't hear the call. So what they've done there, they've drawn either I don't know if you call it offside or false start. I guess it's false start from the um, from the team, not the not the attacking team, but the defending team. Mm. So the team in I don't know which is which is which. I think Michigan's in white. Is it? One of them's gone early. So it's uh, it's the, the the noise of the crowd has uh, has helped them get a false start. Yeah, they called a flag by the by the sounds of it. Anyway, that's what it looks like to me. I 
I would expect to see Georgia come out throwing early to loosen up this Mississippi State defense and then get it to their running backs. Of course, the deepest and most talented group of running backs in the land. Flea flicker to get the night started. Downfield looking for Godwin into his hands. And guess which dogs are barking first? Oh, get after it. Only his seventh catch. And they will touch that hunk of limestone known as the Hokie Stone. With the words for those who have passed and for those to come, they are urged to reach for excellence. I was going to say that. It doesn't look like a state. It looked like there was no, no crowd there. It was on yeah, a different they're field. They're coming in. They're coming out to the warm-up field. Imagine the emotions of those 19, 20-year-olds. This is a program that's been waiting for that big landmark win. And at home in front of this fan base, it's starving themselves. Big opportunity tonight against the defending champ. 25 ready for the Underdogs trying to protect home turf. And you're right, this would be a landmark victory for this program. Only one win over a top five ranked opponent. Virginia Tech, yeah. Justin Fuente off a 10 win division title in his opening season as they enter that dark cramped tunnel. And at the bottom, they will wait for a song that Metallica wrote 26 years ago. Enter Sandman has been used to lead this team out every home game since 2000. There is nothing like it. <laughs> Not sure need them. They all know the lyrics, and they will sing along to enter Sandman. That's the Hokie Stone right there. That's a piece of concrete that's open up, right? Here we go. That's like, uh, that's, you wouldn't see that anywhere in Europe. Do you not reckon? No, not the whole stadium. No, no, no. You, like you, you never get European games like that where it's the whole stadium. And it goes to something you were saying yesterday about, you know, some of these players are playing in front of 100,000 people and then, you know, they're, going, they're, not, they're not nervous going into the NFL. But when you look at the NFL, crowds are smaller. Mm. But number one, when you're coming out to that kind of atmosphere as a college, uh, as a college student mm. and then you're going into the NFL, it's nothing. The NFL's not like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It mu you must get like so pumped up walking oh, out. Oh, big that, time. Right? That's 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 proper prepping you for the start of the yeah, game, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I love that. That's how it should be in every all live sports should be like that. Mm. Even chess. If you're gonna watch chess. I know nah. it's not a sport, but yeah. Between a game like this, two top ten teams colliding in Death Valley at night. There's an energy in here. Here they come.
That's the new Dabotron, the giant new screen, a wrinkle here. They'll walk right underneath that. Crowd sees the buses. Only in college football. Heavyweight fights had their ring walks. <laughs> CFB <laughs> has Clemson's yeah. grandest entrance in sports. There's a poor trooper that's got to keep up with Dabo. Keep an eye on him. It's a tough assignment. None of these guys have ever known a home loss. 36 in a row wins here for the Tigers. Not bad. Not bad. They'll get cued by the cannon. And then the stampede is on. And Dabo is fired up for tonight. He opened if he fell with you. Yeah. There's nothing quite like this. How many players are there? 250. <laughs> I don't know. Look how many there are. Yeah, I know. I think what you got. You've got the offense, the defense, special teams. Yeah, I know there's like then, two teams, but yeah. But so can don't some some players play both? I uh, don't think so. I think you might get you'll play you, people on special you do, teams will probably because you play. do some you have to play defense on offense as well, don't you? Really? Uh, if no, you like you guard, if you like protecting protecting the quarterback. Yeah, but I don't think I think you have your um, your offensive lineman and your defensive line. Oh. So you still defense, you know the offensive tackles and all that. It's different. They're all different. Mm. It's, uh, I, don't, I, I thought don't think, some of them played no, both. I don't think so. Let us know in the comments, but I don't think I don't think they do. I think it's a separate team for that. It's, it's all specialty teams, isn't it? Mm. Your offense, your defense, then your special teams, which is like kick returns and yeah. you know kicking and all that kind of stuff. But it's uh, so I'm, I'm guessing probably in the in the squad, it's got to be. I don't know. What do you reckon? Forty odd. Forty. Yeah. Thirty odd. Forty. That's a lot. Yeah, it is. NC State makes their entrance. A faint orange glow at that far end of the field. West Clemson. How about Andre, our cameraman, making his way down? <laughs> pretty good effort holding that camera and not falling orange. down. Yeah. Dabo once again wins the sprint. Oh. And after all, the emotion and the hype and the build-up, as you see Will Shipley, the star running back for the Tigers, you got to manage that adrenaline, right? And the emotion, Kirk, and then score. McGrath for the win for the Volunteers. From 40. On the way, a knuckleball. He got it! That ball didn't look like it was knuckle moving ball. right. Knuckleball just kicked it. Oof. What, he's done that on purpose? Well, he's gone for probably distance on a knuckleball. You're probably going for the distance. Probably far out. I don't know how far out it was. But look at the time. That's a yeah. game over. Yeah, I know, yeah. It just kind of looked like he missed kicked that. Yeah. yeah. But it's probably meant to be like that. I don't know. So it wins in the game, right? Yeah, 52. <laughs> and here they come. is over on Rocky Top.
You called it a knuckleball. I thought it looked like a whirly bird going over there. It was going sideways. Another look at the game's final play. The kick heard round the state of Tennessee and all of college football. Fifty two forty nine. Tennessee. Guess the Crimson Tide just got rolled. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he is still undefeated. <laughs> I was just going to wait for it to finish. I was going to say this video is not doing Alabama any no. good, is it? <laughs> yeah. And a night they'll never forget in Baton Rouge. Brian Kelly, aggressive, oh, and it pays off. Shows the trust that he has in his quarterback, Jaden Daniels, as you take a look at Bryce Young, who fought valiantly on a night that wasn't necessarily his best night with he and his receivers, but it comes down to Brian Kelly's call with Jaden Daniels. And on cue, a huge fog has rolled in to Tiger Stadium. We'll see if the fog is cleared on the... Well, that's brilliant. They are, aren't they? Yeah. We don't get anything like that over here. We get, it's, we get... a, we, it's a bit different in Europe. Because yeah. if, if you went to like a... Let's say like a Red Star Belgium, game, so we're like Serbia or Croatia mm. type thing, you'd, you, it would be, it'll probably be like a... There'll be fires in the actual yeah, stadium. Fine. There'll, there'll be, be fires. Like no one will have a shirt on. Yeah. There'll be fire. There'll be massive flares. Oh, yeah, these the European ultra sorts. The fans go a little bit over the top. I mean, it's number one. You, I've, you're battling for your life just to get to the stadium. Yeah. You know, when you go into places like that. Yeah. But it's uh, but the, as far as the atmosphere goes inside the crowd, there. I mean, what you've got, what I could see there when it panned round, it looked like they were all students at the college watching mm. the game. So it's like a younger crowd than what you get at like NFL. NFL, you're going to get people my age sort of thing mm. and. Uh, I don't know, same, with the, same with the English Premier League. It's a lot of guys my age and older. Mm. So I think they've been going for years and years and some of them don't want to stand up and start jumping around. Mm. They just want to sit there, watch the game while they drink the coffee and go home. Mm. Whereas there, it's all, it's, it looks like a massive party to me. I love that. Oh yeah, it's great. That's it? how live sports should be, like I say. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that, The atmosphere is where people are building on things like that. It's just, for me, that's, that's exactly what I want to see at sport. Especially for the younger generation as well. Yeah, yeah. That's, how, that's their time to be crazy at the sports ground. I love it. Which one was your best? Probably that... Uh, Tomahawk, chop yeah. thing, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah, or when they're all white out on Penn State. Mm. That's quite cool. Oh, that, that, uh, the, the entrance by Clemson was quite... Just let us know where Clemson is. I'm not sure where yeah. it is. I've heard of it, but I just can't think where it is. I'm not sure. But um, that entrance, where the bus just pulled up and the odds went running off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, that. already in yeah, like that's brilliant. That. That's absolutely they must have been brilliant. sat in their seats with the helmets on and stuff like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but so even the coach straight off the bus, like, legging it down. Know, yeah. That's brilliant. But there's some, there's some really good ones there. The first one, um, was it Wisconsin? Yeah. The first one, that was quite good. Jump around. You know, yeah, like yeah, everyone in the crowd cool. was jumping around. Yeah. Even the players and the the, uh, you know, the media and all that kind of stuff, they were all jumping. That was good, that. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That's some great atmospheres there in college football. Yeah. We'll have to do college basketball next. I've see seen I've seen a video before on my phone of European basketball, like, mm. and it's absolutely, they have flares going off in the arena. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to have a look at that. Let us know in the comments if there's any other videos that, uh, that, that relate to sports like this that you want us to watch. And they'll all crack on with them. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will catch you on the next one. Cheers. Thanks.